Hi there. For those that don't know me, my name is Peter Moss and I've been associated with the ukulele for many years, probably over 50 now. Scary stuff. Anyway, today we're not going to be talking too much about ukuleles. However, I would like to mention at the beginning, I am one of the flight ukuleles uh, featured artists and uh, I do have two signature ukuleles to my name, which I'm extremely proud about. There's a concert size and also a tenor size. Now, something new has entered the flight catalogue and I was very excited when I saw about it and I made some inquiries. Uh, well, Flight actually sent me one of these instruments and uh, I was delighted to receive it uh, because it goes back to more of my sort of guitar background uh, because it is indeed a baritone and it is a solid body electric. Yes, absolutely. So let me show you what it looks like, first of all. Bit off the stand. So there you go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, lovely finish. And have a look at the back. So brown on the back, um, a nice satin neck, and an absolutely delightful finish on the body with that blue. Now, as you can see, uh, there are two different pickups on here. We have one for the neck, and we have another one near the bridge. And this is a double or a humbucker. Uh, and it gets, makes an extremely great sound when you play about with a toggle switch, which is here. This is a three-way switch, and it will uh, basically uh, alter the electric current that goes to these various pickups and a combination of. So let's chit-chat. Why don't I plug it in and show you what it sounds like? Okay, so as you can see, I've got a set of headphones on now so I can hear what you can hear and it kind of helps a bit. I'm going to be playing to some backing tracks in a second. To start with, though, I'm just going to uh, give the sounds of the instrument on its own. And uh, so we've plugged in a little bit of reverb, but nothing extra on there. Uh, if I move this uh, switch here, this toggle uh, up towards the top, it activates this pickup here and uh, it gives it a kind of nice sort of bluesy sort of jazzy sound. <laughs> Really nice sound, uh, yes. Yeah, perfect for that sort of jazzy sound. Yeah, now, what happens if I toggle this now to the middle here? Uh, that now allows it to be uh, a combination of this pickup and the first one of this pickup, and it gives it more of a snappy sound, a bit of a Telecaster sound. Great sound. And uh, if we go all the way across here uh, to now uh, the double humbucker here, which is uh, at the bridge. And uh, for now, we've just got it clean. We will dirty it up in a second. Uh, but uh, yeah, it gives it a nice sort of. Okay, so as promised, we're going to dirty it up a little bit. So let me drop those down a bit there and put this on here. So now we've got a little bit of... Yeah, okay, now what can we do with that? Uh, maybe put some echo on. So let me do that. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let me stick something else on here just for a bit of fun. And that would give me oh, what's called a ping pong echo. Oh, now then, what could I do with that? So if I was to do something like this. And I put some backing on as well. Maybe I could do this.
yeah, a little bit of uh, Pink Floyd there with uh, a, a much inspired uh, piece by David Gilmore, and it was called Run. Now, in complete contrast to that, I'm going to turn to the likes of uh, Gary Moore. Not that I pretend to be Gary Moore in any way. Uh, his most famous piece was uh, Parisian Walkways, but this one is called The Loner. <laughs> Okay, moving on to uh, one of my favourite guitarists of all time, Mr. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Not that I can play like Stevie Ray Vaughan, but I was kind of influenced by his sort of blues style that sounded a little bit different to everybody else's because he used to play a lot of chords as well within the lead breaks. Here's a little taster. you've enjoyed uh, these little demos uh, using the new flight electric baritone pathfinder that's a mouthful isn't it so basically uh, a lot of my music i was playing on the guitar was in the 70s and into the mid 80s so uh, yeah i hope you enjoyed reminiscing with me so i'm going to finish with this one this was from a band called focus if you remember those and it's a little piece called sylvia i hope you like it
So there you have it, folks. A few different uh, styles of playing something with metal strings, a little bit of overdrive as well, which is kind of different from what I normally pl would play in a ukulele. But this is the instrument made by Flight. Uh, it's a solid bodied electric and it's baritone tuning. And the tuning of that is DGBE, which is just the same as the top four strings on your guitar. Of course, if you were to play a bar on the fifth fret, you'd be getting the same as you would on a ukulele, which is GCEA. So if you've enjoyed this, there will be in the description a few links to where you can check out a little bit more about it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Until the next one, take care. Tra!